Hi everyone, today is a perfume video and today I will be kind of fulfilling a little bit of a clear out goal for myself um, and that has to do with my fragrances. I own quite a few perfumes and I do tend to sort of get bored or get curious and move on to something else, um, although I do like a lot of different scents and I do um, rotate through them quite frequently. On my channel I continue to get questions, well how do you finish up your perfumes? Um, how do you wear them? Uh, and uh, really the answer here is, well, uh, as, whenever I change clothes, I reapply different fragrances and that's how I get through my fragrances. And getting through them isn't really the point. The point is just to have fun with it, really. Um, and so uh, I do have a few fragrances in my possession that I have wanted to finish up so that they don't, don't, don't take up so much space um, because they're quite a few new arrivals. Uh, so I have picked a few scents that I'm probably going to be finishing up this year and it's going to be a, like a rotating project where as I use things up I introduce new things in um, and uh, I've already started it. I've been at it for about two months so I have a few fragrances, a couple of fragrances that I actually used up and I'm going to tell you guys about it because at first I wasn't really thinking that I was going to like document this because this is my normal process um, but because I keep getting so many questions about how I use my fragrances um, I'll show you basically. So uh, these are the perfumes that are kind of out on my vanity. I normally store my perfumes in, in a dark uh, cool drawer to keep them preserved and I've never had a perfume go off on me. I've never had that happen. So I've picked quite a few scents uh, here. I'm adding a couple and then I'll continue to document this process so that um, you guys have a clearer idea of what exactly my usage looks like. So these are the two uh, perfumes that I finished up. I had about 20, 10 to 20 mil left in each of them. Uh, so I have finished both of those. Uh, one of them is Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. It's a beautiful uh, blood orange popsicle <laughs> with some sugar in it. Uh, it was a 30 ml bottle. I have completed it. Um, I've used it for maybe three years uh, total. I do like the scent. I would probably repurchase it in the future. Um, I do have another Atelier Cologne um, citrus right now, which I do like a lot. So I will continue using that other big bottle for a while and maybe come back to Orange Sanguine in the future because I, I did enjoy thoroughly using it. Um, I had about 10 mils left in the bottle and uh, it took me about a couple months to get through it. Same can be said about uh, Ricci Ricci from Nina Ricci. This is a, uh, a rich, sweet floral with a gourmand kind of base. Uh, it's sultry, it's dark, it's plummy, it's tasty, uh, really a favorite of mine and I've liked it ever since it came out. Although when it initially came out I wasn't able to afford it so I bought samples of it for several years and then after um, you know, I got out of my master's um, and started actually working full-time. I was able to afford it finally, so I have very warm feelings towards it. I understand that this fragrance, from, from what I understand, it was discontinued, but it's not very difficult to find online, so you'll probably not have a big problem finding it. Would I repurchase it? Possibly. Uh, if I came across it or if I was making a fragrance order online anyway, I might throw that in. Um, this particular bottle was a 50 ml. I've used it for maybe a year and a half um, and used it up. I really liked wearing it in the evening and before bedtime. This is a really great bedtime perfume and I have very weird ideas of what constitutes a good bedtime perfume but it's very nice to fall asleep with this on and when you wake up in the morning you still catch a little wafts of, uh, um, of uh, this delicate yet um, palpably, um, palpably uh, substantial fragrance. Uh, so I will be missing it, but not enough to repurchase it immediately because I have a lot more perfumes to get through. Uh, then I picked also this Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde uh, from Guerlain. This is a scent that I've had for a long time, maybe three, maybe more years. And it's a really big bottle. It's time to get it out. Um, I 
I'm going to probably pick it up as my designated citrus until it's gone. It's a pretty green and there is a very green fresh lime, grassy feel and some cucumber-like freshness. So it is a very, very fresh scent with a little bit of bitterness. With a little bit of bitterness in general, a pretty pleasant scent, I think, very unisex and easy to pull off, easy to wear. If you are the kind of couple who shares a scent and you like citruses and, um, and greens, then this would be a really, really good one to share with your spouse. I thoroughly enjoyed the whole bottle of it. I don't have a ton left. Uh, as you can see, there's not that much. And I will be happy to... Um, you know, finish it up so that I'm confident that I'm not wasting my scents. I do do tend to use it whenever I feel like I need a refreshment <laughs> and, and it layers pretty well with other scents, but I like it on its own mostly and I like for it to be um, like a perk up sort of scent and I tend to use green scents in that capacity. Uh, so happy with it. I think I have maybe... 20 mil left or something like that, maybe less. Uh, hard to estimate, but I definitely like the scent and I will continue using it. I don't anticipate it to last very much longer than one or two months. Uh, and uh, this is going to be the end of that scent. Will I repurchase it? Possibly. I like it enough to pick it up in the future, but I do have so many green and uh, and citrus scents right now that I've just bought in 2021 and 2022 already because that is a part of my um, fragrance wardrobe that I've expanded quite a bit. I just don't feel like it's necessary for me to repeat that one if I have others that have the same function at the moment. In the future, if I run low on things, I might go back to Limon Vert because it is a like tried and true bulletproof uh, green citrus. Very, very fresh. Um, the last one I picked previously, uh, when I was initially picking a few that I'm going to focus on this year, uh, was Erin Lilac Path. I'm not even sure why I picked it. I think because it is about a couple of years old, so it's probably time to start moving it on out. Um, this is a scent that I wear every spring, so I picked it for the spring. I'll see if I can use up maybe half of what I have left, and then I'll sort of kick it out and then pick it up next year and finish it off. Um, it is about half full. There's not a ton of product left. So it's about 25 mils left. It's a total of 50 milliliter bottle. So that's about 25 mils right there. Uh, I anticipate gaining through maybe 10 mils uh, in the spring. This is a wonderful scent and I will be repurchasing it. It's just, it's getting a little bit old. So I do want to focus on getting it out in the next couple of years. My goal is to sort of use up half of this um, and leave the rest for next year. I tend to pick it up in spring because it is a true lilac scent. So this is as advertised. It's, it smells exactly like fresh lilacs. Uh, it's kind of a solely floor sort of scent. And I really love the scent of fresh lilacs in the spring. Um, my dream is just to put down a lilac bush in my in my front yard just because it is these few weeks when the lilacs are out and and they're flowering are like some of my favorite weeks in spring it's very it's it smells all hopeful and like the new year is coming and it's going to be a fantastic time so i'm thinking probably half of this is what i'm going to use up estimation based on you know previous use probably going to use up half of it and then it's going to leave and stay put until next year because i pretty much exclusively wear it uh, in spring. And uh, lastly, what I've put in in the very beginning of the year in January was uh, Chanel number no. five, Eau de Toilette. I have a lot of different number no. fives. Uh, and Eau de Toilette is the easiest one to layer. I generally don't love layering a lot of my number no. fives, but I do like layering the Eau de Toilette. Uh, and this formulation is not like the others in the lineup. It is a little bit more vintage. It's quite like, smells quite a lot like vintage soap. So I do find that if you want to add that soapiness and a bit of floral with a slight civet base, which isn't for everyone. So I, I'm not, Thing. I'm not telling you that this is going to be a good pick for you because you don't definitely need to smell this. If you like the Eau de Parfum, not necessarily you're going to like the Eau de Toilette because there is this vintage civity undertone to it that is not for everybody, but it is for me. Um, I've been wearing this scent for years, uh, decades at this point, and I have... 
a little bit over one third of the bottle used up. Uh, normally I wouldn't put it in any kind of a project to use up mostly because I use it already like pretty organically. However, I did purchase a big bottle previously. This is a 100 ml bottle and it's already about two and a half years old. So it is definitely time to start using it up because I, again, don't like fur perfumes to last more than four years in my uh, possession, just because there is this possibility of them um, uh, spoiling over time. I don't want that to happen and I won't let that happen to my number five. Um, and so, you know, a decent amount of use. I've used up maybe 10 mils of it in the last couple of months. Um, and I will continue using it very gladly, I must say. It's a really, really nice scent and I do like it on its own, but I love it layered with other fragrances and that's really how I use it most. Um, I'm adding these two at this point um, because these two are out. I'm adding these two guys uh, just to maintain about the same amount of fragrances um, so I don't get bored with them. Um, this is a, a surprise to me, myself. Um, mostly, again, this is a scent that's been produced, I believe, in 2009. This bottle was sealed until about two or three years ago because I used another bottle before that and I knew that this limited edition scent I was going to love and want to use continuously. So uh, Narcissa Rodriguez for her and this is Musk Collection of the Parfum Antons. I absolutely adore this scent. This is again not for everybody. It's a very very clean musk with a little bit of skin like spice to it. <laughs> Uh, and it's it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a all things to all people scent. I think that um, you know it's a big shame that this is not produced constantly by Narciso Rodriguez uh, Fragrance House. It's it's a, it's a shame. It's a crime. I would love for them to re-release the musk. Um, this is their signature musk, but like purified version of it, just the musk, nothing else. Generally, there are a lot of florals um, to the musks that they produce. In this case, none of that is present. It's just super clean, pure, beautiful skin scent kind of musk. I adore it. And it's about a third way out. And what is happening is that because I can't get it again or I can get it at some insane prices on eBay, eBay um, I have been saving it, <laughs> meaning that I am running with the risk of this perfume going bad on me before I use it and not because I don't like it, but because I'm kind of stingy with it and I'm going to stop being stingy with it. I'm going to put it into this project and I'm, I'm just going to use it up um, because it's time um, just perfumes aren't forever. Uh, they're not like diamonds. So this will be probably used up this year. I would not be surprised because I absolutely adore this fragrance and musks for me are ve a very easy pull. Uh, I reach for musks all the time. So it's going to be a super easy fragrance to use up, although there is about two thirds left by the sound of it. But I won't be able to, to track progress because it's an opaque bottle. Although I'm feeling more comfortable um, with the opaque bottle because there's no light damage um, in an opaque bottle but at the same time you have no idea how much is left so I'm super I'm kind of relieved and happy because I was kind of restraining myself from using it but I'm just gonna go for it because I, I absolutely love the scent and I'm just going to enjoy it while it lasts and indulge and in using it up Lastly, I have another spring scent that I'm not sure I'll be able to use up this year, but I probably will. It's about a third of the bottle left at this point, and this is Parfum d'été from Kinzu. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. This is a 75 milliliter bottle. I'm estimating about 20 milliliters left in it. Um, uh, this is a wonderful fragrance that I pull for in the spring all the time. It's a clean aquatic floral. I'll be repurchasing it after it's gone. This is my, I don't know how many bottles of it I've purchased in the past, but a lot. Uh, and uh, I have no qualms using it. Now the only negative is the, the bottle shape, although very beautiful. It doesn't stand up very easily, so it's just hard to store. But I love the scent. I've used it for uh, over a decade, I think, and I will continue using it very, very gladly. But because there's just not a lot left, I'm thinking to finish off the bottle and maybe buy a fresh one. Um, I don't remember how old this is. It's definitely under three years old, but I don't want to chance it. I want to 
um, I want to continue using it um, and uh, I, I don't want it to go bad either. This is not a photo opaque bottle, so this one is more liable to spoil. These are the scents that I have here. Um, two of them are already done. One of them is on its way out completely. One of them is a mixer layering scent for me. That's the way I use it uh, mostly. Two of them are spring scent with spring coming up and one of them is an all things to all people kind of scent which I adore wearing and will have no problems finishing whatsoever. Tell me, do you use your fragrances in a way that you finish them up in a few years or do you tend to just have one fragrance at a time and just go through a bottle at a time? I'm very curious. Let, let us know down below how you prefer to use up your fragrances. Uh, have a good day, good luck, and uh, stay well, stay healthy. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.